Hi guys, it's Sam here with Bargain Hunting Blonde and today I have to you a very late <laughs> Chanel reveal. I actually ended up getting these during the summer, but they are not really a summer piece or they, you will know, I should just say they are shoes. So without further ado, let's dive in. And luckily I have not shown you what is on the side or else it would completely have given it away. But like I said, they are shoes. I did get them in the summer. I pre-ordered them. I'm actually very glad I picked them up in the summer, which is kind of weird to buy like so many seasons ahead, but they have gone up in price, which might give you a hint, even though I think almost every pair of Chanel shoes went up in price and they just don't really announce it. And it is the beautiful, oh, I should take this off so you can see, Chanel combat boot in the black calfskin with the quilting and the beautiful CC, which is the CC that reminds me of the 19 because it does have the leather running through it. I love that they have the CC on the toe and then these have not been worn. They do also have the CC on the bottom and the Chanel written on the heel. So I did pre-order these because I did want them when they initially came out and they were really, really hard to find in my size. And then I knew they were coming out again. So I did pre-order. Glad I did because the first time I looked at these boots, they were $1,550 if I'm remembering correctly. Then they became 1725 which is when I picked up these babies. And then recently I saw one of my sales associates post this style again, which now comes in tons of different colors and they were 1,800. So Chanel likes to increase prices on everything, including shoes, which is kind of annoying because like these, that's a really, I mean, 1,725 is a lot of money, but like $1,800 per pair of shoes is a lot of money. Like that is a full blown bag most places. Of course not Chanel, but that's cause Chanel is Chanel. So, like I said, this now comes in tons of different colorways. I have seen it in the black and white. I have seen it in the black and beige. I have seen it in a black and denim, which is really cute. I love these boots because I find combat boots every year. I like how this, like, sorry. I didn't realize this was, like, in my face the whole time. <laughs> that the Chanel combat boot, or just combat boot in general, is a very staple for fall and winter. And I just really like how these look but nothing wrong with them. But this is something for all I have like, but as in I have a giant scoop for all the big footed people out there like myself. I am someone who has a really big foot. These are a size 42. Uh, my true to size for sure in Chanel is a 41.5. These run a tad small for most people. Honestly, I could have worn a 41.5. I have long narrow feet, not wide feet. I think if you have like wide to normal feet, you might wanna go up a half size in these. But what I'm going to say, and I've actually heard this from a Chanel essay, a Saks essay, who I buy Chanel from, and a Nordstrom's essay, who I buy Chanel from, they are making less and less of the bigger sizes, and they are becoming really hard to find. And a lot of the department stores and the boutiques are ordering less of the bigger sizes. So initially, when I was talking to my sales associate, these came from Bloomingdale's. I had been talking to a sales associate who was looking at, I was, he looked at them for me at Nordstrom's and he said, wow, like you should pre-order these at more than one place. We are literally, looks like it's getting in 142 and we are getting in no 41.5s. We are getting in a couple 41s, but you're going to want the 41.5 or the 42 in these. And I was glad he was so honest with me because I actually never would have gotten them from Nordstrom's pre-order and putting my name on the reserve list. I only got them because I was able to snag them from Bloomingdale's. And that is just something to keep in mind when you are more of an odd size for shoes is that they can be really hard to find. That's for the smaller and the bigger. And it seems less and less of the brands are even making the 41.5 and the 42. I actually, the other day was really excited. I thought I was gonna be able to score a pair of Amina Mawadi heels um, from a website. And actually the website didn't carry higher than a 41. So, I'm a little worried about us big feet people out there. Uh, I really, you know, I like my designer shoes and it's gonna be a bummer if they become really, really hard to find. And I guess I should show you guys the other one because you know, I did in fact get, it still has every, all the stuffing and everything, but I did in fact get two as you need to. But I just wanted to come on here and show you guys these real quickly and just kind of give everyone a heads up. If you are a more unique shoe size, make sure to go and preserve reserve, not preserve, reserve 
uh, shoes, put your name on a list, pre-order, whatever you can do. And then just be aware that you might need to pre-order from more than one place because a lot of these places are not getting more than like a handful of shoes. Uh, it's just unfortunate because, you know, I think there are a lot of people who wear bigger shoe sizes. And if you've seen my stories, I was going to sell one of my never before worn pair of Chanel shoes because I had bought something else I liked better and they were a 42. They were a pair of espadrilles because uh, espadrilles do not come in half sizes. So the 41 is like pretty snug on me and the 42 is a little big, but they do not make a 41.5. And Fashion File actually told me they would not buy the 42 because the 42 does not sell because apparently people who have bigger feet do not exist, which I know is completely false because when I posted that on my stories, like I'm not even kidding you, I think 20 people responded that that was roughly the size they wore and like how untrue that is. So Fashion File, you messed up on that one. Uh, and then I just decided for now, at least I'm going to keep them because I'm worried that I won't be able to find something to replace them if I did want to replace them. But thank you for tuning into this quick video. Please let me know down below if you have had anything that you've picked up really off season, or if you have a pair of these combat boots, or if you also wear big shoe sizes, because I don't think I'm alone out there in the comment section down below, or of course, feel free to DM me. If you want to see more reveals, reviews, and comparisons, please make sure to follow me on YouTube by hitting the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays. If you want to see how I style these boots, because now I can finally wear them because I've revealed them to you. I was, I actually was literally pulling them. I was like, oh, I'll wear these today. I was like, wait, I have not revealed them, especially with shoes. Like I don't want to be touching all of the bottom if I have not shown you guys. But if you want to see how I style them, please make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and my blog, all of which are linked down below. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.